another shallow quarter dial signal. It is. It's a quarter, just like it said. Got a. I'm running pitch hold for my response, and I got a. What looks like to be a real deep one here. Seemed like a real deep type target, so Go a little bit deeper here. Still down in the hole. I can't tell what it is. It, it uh, it's a coin for sure. It's a, just like a penny of some type, but it's real. Got a lot of dirt and stuff on it, but uh, it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Pretty good depth. Either right beside the one I just dug, or this one out too it's it's right beside I just dug the other one right here this one's right here so
got to be close to eight or nine inches now, and uh, and it's still in the hole. So I'm digging pretty deep now. Probably digging close to a foot deep now. Notice this probe is completely buried. It's 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 still down in the bottom of the hole, and Got it out of the hole. Another super deep coin. I don't know what it is. It's just so corroded. I know it's a penny of some sort, but I'll clean it up later. But that one was, was way down there. It's probably a good 10, 11 inches on that one. Got a nickel type signal here. A nickel. It is a just a regular like Jefferson nickel, but looks like it's been down there a little while. Here's a little bit deeper target. I think I got another target over here too though.
Missed the pinpoint a little bit, but I'll still get it. I said I think there's two targets close together. I think I probably pinpointed the other one. don't know what it is again it's a uh, it's a deep coin but I'll clean them all up when I get back here's another one that's just real iffy it's just you know I could pick it up every every sweep or something Now that I got the hole open up, it sounds a lot better. Once again, it's off a, a little bit. I, there must just be other trash in the area. The pinpoint was off just a little. But, I said it sounds good. I don't know if it's, I don't believe it. it's probably not silver, but. this clump of dirt. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. It is a Civil, a Civil War bullet. It's down there, eh, not, well, I guess it was, you know, pretty good depth. But, uh, kind of a blunt nose guy there. Kind of weird, but I'll take it. Civil War bullet. Not a real shallow. It's that real shallow sounding one. Obviously something pretty shallow. Right there, I believe. Clad dime. Here's a target. Seems, you know, a little bit on the deeper side, but.
got it in my hand. Oh. Another one of those uh, flag pins. Well, I don't know how them, they sure are lightweight, but they, they can get down there a long ways for some reason. I've got a signal here. It's eh, it's not real super deep, maybe six, seven inch range, but it, it sounds pretty good. Hopefully it's hopefully it's in the silver range, but it could be a could be a deep wheat or something. We'll see. Dig this one out. Let's see what we got. A little tough digging here, huh? Sounding good. Just got to get past all these roots. Bunch of roots down here. Oh, there it is. Silver dime. Uh, I think it's a. I think it's a. Uh, eh, I think it's just a mercury. We'd all clean it up, but good way. Good way to start. Silver dime, right off the bat. Got another signal. It's kind of hitting in the zinc range, but it's a little deeper. So you can see. Kind of hitting in the screw cap range. Could be deep wheat, you know. But I'm gonna dig it anyway because it, you know, it's got potential. I just dug that silver dime, so. Getting a hit a little bit. A lot of roots around here. Some trees nearby. Okay. Get. go still in the hole a little bit deeper a lot of roots come on get by these roots real quick and get it out there it is Oh, look at that. Another silver coin. Wow, that's two. I think I've uh, dug two in a row, two silver coins. I, I won't even bother. I'll wash it off and see, but it, it looks like a silver dime. Two silver dimes in a row. Starting off good. Got a nickel style hit. It. I'm not sure. It sounds pretty good, but there's a lot of those beaver tails out here. Let's see what we got.
was a nickel. It's uh, don't look like it's anything old. I mean, it's probably been on there quite a while, but it's not a buffalo or V nickel. Get another hit in the nickel range. This one's hitting pretty good. So. Maybe it will be a nickel because it's hitting so hard. I have to go change the batteries on my camera. I think they're about dead. So. As I was saying that, my batteries died. But uh, that last one, it is a nickel. So, cool. Here's a deeper signal right along the string line. Kind of hitting in the wheat penny range, maybe. Oh, there's some 40, 42. That could be silver range. It stays up there, but we'll dig it out. All right, I'll work around my string line here. So this, this sounds pretty good. Pretty promising. Yeah, starting to get a little bit of hit down in the hole. Getting, getting fairly deep now. Starting to sound good. I'm at seven inches already, and I, it's still down there. So I'm gonna dig out the side wall so I don't nick it. Okay, it's in the. It's in here. See what we can find. There it is. Whoops. There it is. I can't tell. Looks like it's a deep, deep penny of some kind. I'll see. I'll check it out later. But not too bad. It's probably seven, eight inches down there. I just got a nickel signal. I didn't. I didn't film it because I only got uh, maybe ten minutes of filming left, and I wanted to try to save it for silver coins. But got a nickel signal. And I. It was. It was pretty good. It was probably close to the 7 inch range and it's a buffalo nickel.